Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at the Midnight Mule Mini League, the Content Creators Mini League and then look at my plans for Game Week 33. Top scorer this week in the Midnight Mule FPL Mini League was Abitam Robert, Ketu FC with 90 points. Very good, free hit. Let's see how he did. He, Salah captain for 14, Saka 13, Jota 13, Castagna 10, Johnston 10, Martinelli 9, Tony 9, Trent 5. So a lot of people had to decide between Jota and Robertson and Gakpo. And the right choice was made here with Jota for 13. And on the bench, Ward doesn't matter, didn't get anything, but Bowen, Gehu and Zuma all got 6. But to be fair, there's nobody who was played who you would have put on the bench instead of any of these three. But 90 points, brilliant score. Very, very good. Top of the league at the moment is Jacob Eriksson with Skogs. Glanton IF, I say at the moment. He's been top of the league most of the season. He scored 78 points with his free hit team. Let's see. Salah 14 as captain. Saka 13. Johnston 10. Castagna 10. Martinelli 9. Kane 6. Gay 6. And Trent 5. And then on the bench, no one apart from Nico Williams, the last on the bench with 6 points. But Forest away to Liverpool, you're not going to be playing a Forest defender, to be fair. So a good score and top of the league, so that's pretty good. As for me, I'm all the way down on the third page now, which makes me very happy because it means there's a lot of people in the league. And it means I'm doing bad. But still, there's a lot of people in the league, so that's great. Thank you very much if you are in the league. So 101st, there I am, 56 points. So what did I do? Let's see. Captain Salah for 14, Castagna 10, Martinelli 9, Odegaard 7, Trent 5. But I was really close to having a good score and a very big green arrow. I say really close because Brentford let in a goal right near the end of the game against Villa. So Raya and Henry nearly had a clean sheet. And Botman and Trippier of their 6-1 thrashing against Spurs, they let in a goal against Kane. So Kane got 5 points, I don't have Kane. But Trippier and Botman, they also nearly got a clean sheet. Jesus had lots of chances and could have got a decent score. So I didn't do well, but I nearly did well in my own little fantasy world. So that was nice. And on deadline, right before the deadline, I was really close between Jesus, Isaac and Iheanacho. And Isaac was probably the closest. He got two goals, Iheanacho got one, and Jesus managed to miss all his chances. But any of us can say at any time, I nearly did this. That's what I actually did. What I actually did was the wrong thing. And on the bench, no one. I didn't free hit. That's just what my team is. But I did make a transfer. Cost me four points, but it was worth a net plus four. So possibly worth it unless I bring Fernandez back soon. But we'll see. So 56 points overall. Game week rank of just outside the 2.6 million. 1,977 points. So a red arrow, my fifth red arrow in the last six weeks. But there we go. It wasn't awfully bad, given that most people around my rank were free hitting. I think I got like five points from safety, so that's, that's all right. It's not too bad. So I'm now 42 points behind the 500k mark and 14 points in front of the 1 million mark. And yet, despite all my poor choices, there are 629 subscribers, for which I'm very grateful. Thank you very much to everyone who watches this. So in the Content Creators League, which you can see on FPL Game Week, FPL Harry's top, very, very impressive there, 2,244 2, points, 70 points this week with his free hit. Ben Krellin second, but he's a fair gap behind there. And then creeping back into the top five is Ross, FPL Raptor. And what I'd say for Raptor is he did a series a couple of years ago to do with the psychology of fantasy football. And it's actually very interesting. So if you've not watched his Psychology of Fantasy Football mini series, I think it's definitely worth watching. I know he's got a book as well, but I've not read the book and I'm not really into reading. But I'm happy to watch YouTube videos. So yeah, definitely worth watching his stuff. As for me, I'm down on the second page. There I am in 54th place, one point behind... One point behind Oscar, FPL Focal, but 35 points, that's quite a big gap. So if I can catch him up, I'd be quite impressed with that. But I'm impressed quite easily, I guess. So captain this week, as 
I'm sure most people will. I'm putting the old mule hat on Harland. And then the wee vice captain bonnet is going to go on Salah, almost certainly as things stand. So my team as it looks, and I think this is what it's going to be, I don't think I'm going to make any changes this week, is Harland at home to Arsenal, he's the captain. And my other home player is Kepa at home to Brentford. All the rest are away. That's Salah and Trent are away to West Ham. March and Matoma are away to Forest. Trippier's away to Everton. Castagna's away to Leeds. And then Martinelli, Odegaard and Jesus are away to Man City. Of those 11, if any of them returned, as in a clean sheet assist or goal, wouldn't be surprising. But equally, if none of them returned, that wouldn't be surprising either. So the score for the week may be mid-30s or could be the mid-60s. Who knows? Certainly Man City can leak goals. So playing three Arsenal players, I wouldn't expect many teams to be playing three Arsenal players against Man City. So that's a little bit of a differential perhaps. And then on my bench, I've got Raya away to Chelsea, Darwin away to West Ham, Botman away to Everton and Henry away to Chelsea. So that's me. That are my plans for game week 33. I did consider several transfers, but I think I'm just going to do nothing, save my transfer, because in game week 34, I'm probably going to take an awful lot of hits to try and make my team a bit better. But I've not decided yet exactly what I'm going to do, so I need to see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>